Hello guys, this is Becca, and I am here with a little Tori. She is Ashton Drake's K-pop, and it is still Thursday at this point in time. Won't be for long. It's like 11 something at night, or maybe it's just now 11 o'clock. I can't tell from here, but uh. It's been a very busy day. Uh, I, th I don't think I've mentioned it on camera, but, and I may have, because I think I've told y'all about the noise in the background. I can't remember. But anyway, hubby is remodeling our bathroom. And so he's off from his regular job on Thursdays. And so he spends time working on the bathroom uh, trying to get it back put back together and so he's he was home today and was busy doing that and I was you know I'd have to hand him things and stuff like that and was busy and plus with all the racket <coughs> I wanted to do a little role play type thing at the beginning of the video for theme Thursday but I didn't get around to doing that and now it's late and I'm very tired <laughs> so I didn't get to do that but I am a changing little Tori for theme Thursday and the theme today is camping and the alternative theme is creatures creatures that you would see while you're out camping. Well, I don't have any outfits that would represent camping, and that's what the little role play thing was going to be uh, at the beginning. And uh, I've got a, a little Barbie. She's the mini Barbie, and she has the little, um, the little car and the camper. And I was going to do a little role play with it about her going camping. And then I was going to dress Tori in her little outfit. And I didn't even tell you what I'm putting on her. I'm putting this little shirt. It is a child of mine, newborn. And it's pink, long sleeves. And it has a little fox, pink and white fox applique on it. And it has a navy blue flower uh, uh, embroidered on it. Then she has her navy blue pants with white polka dots. And it has a little ruffle around the, the uh, legs of the pants at the bottom. So this is what we put on her for um, the creatures that you might see on a camping trip. And you might see a fox out in the woods while you were out camping. And so she has a little fox on her little shirt. And uh, Yvonne, the one that uh, Theme Thursday having you on, she asked that we maybe tell a little camping story while we change in our babies. So, I thought I would tell about uh, when we went camping one time. Uh, we lived in Louisiana, and we would go out on the uh, levee, out by the levee, and we'd camp out out there. And we would, while we were out there, you know, we was right by the bayou. So, we would... Uh, crawfish and crab and all that, you know, and then we cook grill up with some, some hot dogs or hamburgers or something on the grill, and uh, so we would go camping. Well, this one night, my boys was little at that time, and both of them went camping with us. Uh, yeah, I had it on. I couldn't remember there for a minute. Um, 
But the boys went with us camping and they were little. They were like maybe four, four and I think both of them was with us. It might have just been Chris with us, my oldest son. The little one might have been too little. We might have left him with the neighbor. Uh, I can't remember for sure now, but I know one of them was with us. Anyway, we had went camping and we'd had a good time fishing and everything and uh, I brought two little pairs of shoes crocheted shoes one's white with a pink bow with white polka dots one's navy blue with a navy blue bow and white polka dots so I thought I would try it on and see which color I liked best on her with this outfit but anyway we had a good time crawl fishing and crabbing and and uh, we ate supper, and so it was getting late, and we decided it was time to go to bed. So we uh, crawled in the tent and closed it up, and and we got laid down. And all of a sudden, I mean, we was laid down for a little while. We had talked a little bit, and we was laying there. And uh, okay, that's the way it looks with the pink ones on. And so now I'll try the blue ones. And so we was laying there just talking and, and everything. And all of a sudden, we hear this noise in the woods. I mean, it was loud, like somebody walking with heavy footsteps, just loud, loud. And that's with the blue ones. I think I like the pink ones better because it brings out the pink. Or should I? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put one pink and one blue on and see which ones I really like the best. Yeah, I like the, pink, the white ones with the pink. So anyway, um, my husband got to listening. He said, listen, what is that? And so we all got real quiet and we was listening and I mean, it sounded like something was just tearing the woods up. And my husband said, you know, that sounds like a bear. And you know, when you go camping, they may be some bears in the woods. <laughs> Here's her little bear, Lovey, and she's going to have it. But there may be some bears in the woods when you go camping. If, if you go camping in an area that, that there's bears around, you have to be careful. Don't leave food out, you know, that would attract their attention and, and all of that. And so we laid there and we listened. And then, uh, I mean, it was getting closer and getting closer. And it just, it sounded like it was tearing the woods up. And so, my husband got really concerned. He, uh, he told me, he said, I don't, like I said, I think it might have been just Chris. He said, get Chris and y'all get in the car. Y'all get in the car. He said, if it's a bear coming out, I want y'all to be in the car so we can crank up and leave. So, uh, I grabbed Chris and we went and got in the car. I put him in the back seat. Back then you didn't have to have seat belts and car seats and all that. And uh, so I put him in the car and uh, I got in and and so my husband was looking around and and uh, if I'm not mistaken, he left, if if this is the same same time, I'm thinking, that he left his gun sitting out by a tree. If I'm not mistaken, now I may have my stories mixed up with another time we went out. But anyway, he was out there and he was listening and uh, everything. And, uh, so, I mean, that whatever that was, it was like just right at the edge of the woods fixing to come out and come out of the woods and 
Oh my goodness, it was awful. We were scared to death. And so by that time, my husband had come and got in the driver's side of the car. He was standing, you know, he just stood up on the, when you go to step in the car, you know, he just stood up there on the edge with the door open, looking at the woods, you know, waiting to see, because, you know, there was our tent and all of our camping stuff out there. And, and so he was just standing there looking and waiting to see what it was that was gonna come out of that woods, because he just knew, you know, I mean, it was like a big creature coming. It was so loud. It was just a stomping and it sounded like it was, it was tearing bushes down. And it was just, it was horrible. And uh, so he was standing there, standing inside the car uh, with the door open and uh, waiting and watching for the bear to come out. Uh, because he said, you know, that could, be the only thing it could be making that kind of noise. It had to be a bear. So he was standing there watching and all of a sudden that thing come tearing, well not really fast, but it, what I mean by tearing just sounded like it was tearing things up out of the woods. And guys, it was an armadillo. <laughs> After we got so scared and got in the car and all that, but if you go camping and you know anything about woodland creatures, armadillos can sound like they are literally tearing the woods apart, just like they're tearing trees down. And they, they are not quiet at all. They come stomping through the woods. <laughs> but we thought for sure a bear was coming out on us and uh, so after we settled down from that, my husband said, it's time to go home. <laughs> he, he done had enough. We picked up at night. It was probably 10, 11 o'clock by that time. It was dark. We pick up camp and go home. <laughs> we had enough. <laughs> It's funny now. It wasn't funny then. If you'd have been there with us, we were scared to death. <laughs> we thought a big old huge bear was coming out after us. <laughs> Come to find out it was just a little armadillo. <laughs> but it sounded like he was tearing the woods apart. <laughs> it was so funny. Now, that wasn't then. But there's our little bear, our little big bear that ended up being a armadillo. <laughs> you might see rabbits in the woods. <laughs> and if you lay real quiet, you might hear a whoo, whoo, whoo in the woods, an owl. So that is things that you might come across if you go out on a camping trip, especially one that you're staying in a tent, uh, if you're in a camping trailer, like the little role play I was going to do at the beginning of the video and didn't get to do, but if you're in a camping trailer, you know, you don't feel so bad and you don't worry about things so much that's in the woods. <laughs> and so... Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed that little story. That really happened to us back when I was a young lady. There's no way I could go camping now and sleep. We didn't even have air up mattresses. We just had a, a sleeping bag laying on the ground inside the, you know, the tent bottom inside the tent. There is no way I could do that now. No way. Forget it. Nah, not a, <laughs> at all. <-a. laughs> if I don't have me a camping trailer, then I can have a bathroom and a shower. Not even a pop-up trailer that doesn't have, a, well, it, I think they, you can get pop-up trailers now that has showers, but it's got to have an air conditioner. It's got to have a toilet. It's got to have a shower where I can 
be comfortable. It's got to have a way for me to make coffee. <laughs> Forget eating, just I got to have coffee. <laughs> anyway, that that's our little, I think it was a long time after that. Matter of fact, I really don't even remember. I, I, I don't remember going camping. It seems like vaguely I remember one time after that when the boys was a little bit older after we had moved from Louisiana. Um, we might have went camping one time out on the river on the, the sandbar on the river. Seems like we might have camped one time after that. But that's about it. That's after that, I had to have a mid-travel trailer if I went camping. <laughs> uh, after I got older, I just, I was, uh, I'm just too old for that now. But I'm kind of talking low because my husband's in the bed and I didn't want to disturb him. I hope you can hear me. Um, but I wanted to get in my theme Thursday. It's been a while since I participated. And I have was really looking forward to participating to Theme Thursday. So I wanted to go ahead and do this video. Hopefully it will upload before midnight tonight. So it can actually be up on Thursday. But I can't promise that. You, you know, it may not upload before in the morning. I have went all day and all night trying to upload a video. It's just according to the weather and my internet. If the weather's bad, my internet won't work half the time. It cuts in and out or it'll cut completely off for a while or it's just, it's crazy. So anyway, I wanted to tell you that little funny camping adventure we had that's funny now that wasn't then, very scary then. <laughs> but um, I wanted to share a little Tori with you and her little fox on her uh, shirt and her little uh, critters that she might find in the woods while she's camping. And so she has all of her little critters with her. And um, I'm going to get off of here. I hope you have enjoyed my little story. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you all have a great night. Or if it's morning before this uh, video uploads, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I will talk with you later. Bye.